Hello and welcome to Tuesday. I'm still getting everything ready. I'm switching my schedule around a little bit and going to my parents house today instead of tomorrow so I'm just packing up my laptop and all my teaching stuff. Going to my parents house today partly because of a scheduling change my Tuesday appointment is now on a Wednesday this week, but it also worked out better to go today because in the summer of things that break in Andrea's life and things that go wrong, my the the flap to my gas tank, so there's the cap that you screw on to the gas tank and then there's the flap on the exterior of the car that locks up your gas cap so people can't just come and unscrew your gas tank. The outer flap, the latch won't work. So it's it's just, it's, it's open. I can't shut it. I'm so irritated. Um, so I called up the mechanic, the same one that I went to before, because I really liked them. I got a really great vibe off of them and my dad uses them so like I feel like it's a good place to go. So I called them yesterday and explained the situation and they said if I could just bring it by, they could take a look, figure out exactly what's wrong, what part they need to have. So I'm gonna take it by today because the mechanic's over by my parents' house. And if they can fix it today, then I'll get it fixed today. If they don't have the part and need to get it from the dealer, then um, I'll have to take it back hopefully later this week or something like that. I'm gonna be really irritated if I end up with a large expense for a part that is like a piece of plastic and is probably only worth two dollars. It is about 10.30 so I'm just gonna finish getting my coffee together and my water and a few last little bits and then I'm gonna get on the road. Okay, I'm at the house. I will have to take my car back to the mechanic. They had to order a part or a few parts. Again, in the Andrea just has the worst luck on things breaking this summer. My relatively new reusable cup from Papyrus that I use for my iced coffee, I somehow managed to snap the straw and break it. I don't know where the other part is, but yeah. I have another straw, so like it's not like I can't use the cup at all anymore. I've had to strain my coffee into a mug just to make sure there weren't any shards of plastic so I can still drink my coffee, but it's just like, really? How many more things? Well, that lighting got weird there. Still playing with this camera. It just feels like how many things are gonna break this summer? I know that bad things usually come in threes, but I feel like this is now starting to feel like it's coming in three dozen. Anyway, I'm making myself some toast because I haven't eaten breakfast yet, and then I'm going to settle in on the couch, put some morality TV on, cuddle with the dogs, and I have grading, and then I think I want to start working on my fall syllabi and get my fall schedules worked out. Still not feeling that great, so I'm just gonna kind of sit on the couch and work and rest and kind of alternate between the two, and I just feel really tired and I've got a lot of pain in my shoulders and neck area. It doesn't help that I didn't have physical therapy this week because she's on vacation. So I really kind of needed to see her yesterday and then that didn't happen. So I'm just gonna try to take it easy and hopefully I'll feel better by later this afternoon.
welcome to check my watch it's Wednesday so I was thinking it was Thursday but no it is definitely only Wednesday I've been having a really chill morning just filmed video fourth time filming my life update video um, which kind of probably says something about the state of my life but that will all make a bit more sense when you watch that video it should hopefully have gone up the previous Friday by the time you're watching this so yeah, it is about 10 to 2 in the afternoon. I slept in a bit, which was good and needed. Um, I was having weird stress dreams again. If that life update video has gone up, I can finally talk about things like dealing with a broken heart in these vlogs. Yeah, I'm still dealing with a lot of like weird stress dreams, so like I'll feel okay during the day. I'll have the occasional wobble, like I'll just think about something and start crying. I feel like that's very normal. Everyone tells me that's normal. Yeah, I just feel like I can feel pretty good during the day and then I'll go to sleep and I just have all kinds of really weird dreams. Not about him or anything like that, but just random stuff. And I'm, I'm not a huge believer that everything in dreams signifies some things. I, something. I just feel like when I'm stressed, I dream about stressful situations and it's not fun. So yeah, I'm going to write because also since that life update video has gone up, I can now talk about the fact that I'm working on editing a novel. Um, I'm not writing it anymore. It is written. Well, the ending kind of needs to be written. That's what I'm struggling with. I had a friend read the first draft when the ending was like, there was no ending. It just kind of ended. It just stopped abruptly. Um, and it was definitely not finished. And she gave me some good feedback. So now I kind of feel like I know where it needs to end, but it still needs to be finished if that makes sense so I am working on that I'm I have therapy in about I have to leave in about two hours from now just slightly less than that so I'm gonna try to sit down and just write and just think about it for the next two hours I feel like I'm so close I'm so close to having this draft done and then I can send it off to my team of friends who are going to be test readers and then see what they think so like maybe it still has a lot more work than I think but my first friend who read it really loved it and I really love it but I'm obviously biased so I am really anxious to see what my other friends think about it because um, they're all very diverse and they all read different stuff and so it'll be like some of them I don't think really read romances so it'd be really interesting to hear their perspective because I don't technically it'd be classified as a romance but I kind of feel like it's it's just a story about a girl about a woman and everything that she's going through so there is romance in it and there's some comedy and there's some drama it just feels like it's not a romantic comedy but it's just women's fiction if that makes sense so I'm really anxious to get this last kind of bit of editing done and then send it off to them and hear what they think. So try working on that and see how far I can get in the next couple hours. I've checked in with my students. There were a couple new assignments submitted, so I've already graded those. I got caught up on grading yesterday, so there was two new things. So yeah, I'm going to get back to work and I will check in with you guys later.
welcome back to the vlog. It is Saturday. The last couple days have not gone quite according to plan. So I'm at my parents' house. I'm going to explain why I'm at my parents' house, but I'm also going to do my makeup. And I thought this would also kind of be a fun way of showing you what, if I have five minutes to pack, including clothes, toiletries, everything, makeup, um, what makeup items do I grab? So yeah, um, so just running through those items really quick and then I will chat to you and give you the update while I put them on. Obviously I have to bring brows and I have to bring mascara so that I can at least look... <sighs> I mean I will go out without my brows and my mascara on and that's fine, but if I'm going for a no makeup makeup look, like a true no makeup makeup, I will still at least put these on because my brows, especially right now, they haven't been tinted recently. My brows and my lashes are so flipping pale. So I brought those. I brought my Becca under eye correcting concealer. I brought my Pacifica transcendent concentrated correcting concealer. I brought my Pacifica Mineral Neutralizing Mattifying Powder, and I brought my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. So those are kind of the, let's see, four, five, six products to do a very basic, very minimal, no makeup look, just kind of freshening myself up a little bit. I've done my skincare. I've put on a little bit of sunscreen. I've put on some of this um, Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen Broad Spectrum. SPF. It kind of feels like a primer, like a um, silicone-y type primer. That's all settled into my skin pretty nicely, but it's still feeling really hydrated. So one of the reasons I like this powder is because it does tend to go on. It's not super translucent. It will actually give me a tiny bit of coverage. So I'm going to use the, ma the um, mirror in the palette. I don't have a mirror otherwise, and I'm going to start putting this on. The brushes I brought, I grabbed my powder brush, my flat top powder brush, my blush brush, my Primark oval brush, um, my e.l.f. fluffy, they call this a concealer brush, I use this to put the powder under my eyes to set it, my highlighter brush, and then two of my Wet n Wild eyeshadow brushes. So one's an eyeshadow and one is a crease brush. So that is what we are working with today. So yeah, I didn't intend to spend the night and then it just became a much bigger experience or whatever than I had intended. Brought my car over yesterday. I had a really chill morning yesterday morning. Didn't really do much in the morning. It was lovely. And then I called the mechanic at about 1.30 because I still hadn't heard from them. And I thought I'd heard hear from them on Thursday telling me that the part had come in. So when I didn't hear from them Thursday, I thought, okay, well, it's got to come on Friday. So I gave them a call because I was worried. My voicemails don't work. Sometimes I'll get a voicemail. It'll finally get delivered to my phone like three days after I left the voicemail. So irritating. So I wanted to make sure that I hadn't missed a voicemail from them. Like It literally just arrived about an hour ago. Um, and they just hadn't called me yet. I said, okay, well, if I can get there in the next hour-ish, would you be able to fix it today? The guy, you know, asked around and it's like, yeah, just, just get down here. We'll, we'll take care of it. So drove over here, dropped it off. They've got a shuttle. So I took the shuttle. They drove me back up to mom and dad's house. So I hung out here. My friend Nicole came over and picked me up. It's great. We went out. We went to Starbucks. Don't think I vlogged that. We had a nice long chat, and then at about 5.45, they called and said, it's taking us longer than we thought, and I already knew it was gonna be a bigger pro project than they initially thought. First, they thought they could just fix the little piece that's actually broken in the car, which would've been great, because that would've been much cheaper, yeah not so much. Turned out they had to fix, they had to replace the whole latch system, which is going to be significantly more expensive. It's going to be about $287. So I'm not that happy about that. Like it's, I can afford it. I've got that in my savings. Like 
it'll be okay. But it's just, again, in the summer of things that keep going wrong for Andrea, or rather I should say the summer of seemingly minor things. Like I know people are going through much worse stuff and much bigger stuff and more expensive stuff and harder stuff, but like I've already spent $500 on my car this summer. And so being hit with approximately $800 of repairs in the span of one summer, like I didn't have that much saved up specifically for my car. Like that is a goal to eventually like just build up like a thousand dollar savings stash specifically for my car. Because when stuff like this happens, it's it's awful, it's miserable, and it can really screw you up for other things. I realized I just set that under eye and I meant to put this on as well. I, th I think it's okay. I'm gonna break the I'm gonna break the rule, guys. I'm gonna put liquid over a powder. I've been liking this um, concealer as a kind of partial substitute for foundation. I'll put it on spots that need to be covered, but then I'll also just kind of brush it over like that and then use my oval foundation brush and just blend all that in. So yeah, so I they told me it was going to be longer. They're like, do you want to come pick it up and then bring it back in the morning or do you want to leave it overnight? And at first I thought, you know, like shoot, I didn't pack anything. I didn't bring anything. I'm not prepared to spend the night. Like, can I even do that? So at first I said, I'll come get it. And then I thought, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to have to drive home and then bring it back over here. It's a lot of driving. Long story short, I'm making this way too long. <laughs> um, asked my mom if she could drive me and my mom was like, well, not really, at least not right now. And then my friend Nicole was like, well, I can take you, which was super nice of her. We get in the car, we drive to my place, we get to my place, realized I didn't have my keys because my keys were on, my house keys were on my key ring with my car keys, which were at the shop. So I panic called my mom to make sure that she still had my spare house keys. She did, because we wouldn't have got back to the mechanic in time before they closed to try to pick up my keys. Mom was like, I've got your keys, just come back. I was ready to have a panic attack. Like, I felt so bad here. My friend had very kindly driven me out here and or out to my place and then we couldn't even get in. So we got back in the car, we drove back to my parents' house. By that point, mom had agreed to, I think mom just took pity, pity on me, mom agreed to drive me back to my place with my spare keys so that I could grab an overnight bag, get some stuff and come back and spend the night. So it's now the next morning. I'm a bit calmer. I had a decent sleep. Got to hang out with mom last night, which was really fun. We went to World Market, picked up some stuff. Mom needed to go and pick up some stuff. So it's like, well, if she's gonna drive me across town, we may as well run that errand. So we did that, which was really nice. So mom and I had a good time overall, and it didn't take us too long. Cause like I, I knew pretty much exactly what I needed to bring. I already kind of have an overnight bag partially packed so I'm just adding a few bits to what I normally bring. Cause like I have a hair bag that's always packed. So whether I need to wash my hair or just it's got dry shampoo, stuff like that. I've got my toiletry bag. So I just add like my Eminence products that I use on a daily basis. But like there's always a cleanser in here. Somehow the moisturizer that I usually keep in here has gone missing. But like I've always got certain beauty products and so then I just add the things that I use on a daily basis. And then I just needed to add in some makeup, which is the stuff that I showed you. So it didn't take us that long. We got in and out pretty quick and then got home and were able to still kind of watch um, some TV together and then go to bed. So it was all good. And now, like I said, it's the next morning and I'm just waiting to hear from the mechanic. It's 10 o'clock. They said it'd be done by about 10, about 9.30, 10 o'clock. So I'm hoping I will hear from them sometime. It could have taken them a little bit longer, but I'm still hoping I'll hear from them sometime in the next hour and be able to go pick it up at 11 and 
go back to my place. I'm supposed to go over to the other side of town to meet up with a friend who needs some help with a project. So there's, there's the finished look. Not that dramatic, just a little bit more polished and awake and before and after doesn't look that dramatic, but it makes me feel a little bit better. So now I'm going to put all of this back into this bag and then get everything finished packing up. I'm getting everything packed up so that as soon as they call me, I can just get on the road. There we go. It's all in there, wrapped in my hair turban towel thing um, that lives in there. So yeah, it's a beautiful sunny day, but it is 10 o'clock and already 100 degrees. I think it's going to get up to 111 again today. It's been so hot. So hot. Yesterday, driving back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And it's a 30 minute drive each direction. So it was a lot of driving. So I was pretty exhausted and overheated and it's not quite what I wanted, but managed to not, like I just, it, it was what it was. It didn't go into like panic attack mode. Very proud of myself doing pretty good. So yeah, it was irritating, but it's done and now my car will be fixed and I will have the rest of my day to kind of get back to my regular schedule. I was thinking of trying to postpone with my friend, but then that just would make Monday more complicated. So I figured it's kind of better to just stick with the plan, go down, help her out today, and then on Monday I can just kind of sleep in and catch up. So I'm going to go down to Tempe and help her and maybe possibly run into Ikea. I uploaded my life update video yesterday, which is very nerve wracking. I always get nervous when I do those more personal videos. And so like opening up about having my heart broken and stuff is just like, I feel like there's such a fine line between my private life and my public life, especially because I've made so much of my public life personal in terms of how I present myself on Instagram and on YouTube and like I've talked about really personal stuff. So it makes that line between private and public really kind of blurry. But your feedback so far, I haven't had time to answer all of the comments because there have been a few more comments on this one than there have on previous videos and they've been like really long detailed comments like you've really taken time to to engage with what I'm talking about and to share your life and what's going on so I want to be able to really respond properly so they should have all been responded to by the time this vlog goes up but I have read them all so far and you guys are just the best I already knew that but you guys are the best and some of the comments have made me cry and like in a good way and it's just nice to feel like less alone. And I know a lot of people on the more personal videos like that, some people don't comment or they message me privately and I've gotten some private messages. I've gotten quite a few private messages, more so than usual for a video. But then I know that like on the fibro videos and the mental health videos and I'm sure like, you know, I'm sure there's people dealing with a broken heart who just don't feel comfortable responding in the comments. Um, so I feel like it's hopefully helped some people. I hope it's helped some people. Um, you guys are definitely helping me, so I always hope that I'm helping you guys at least a little bit. But now this is 20 minutes long for this clip, so I am going to go hope that they call me soon. So yeah, I'm gonna go and I will check in with you guys probably tomorrow. I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs>
Thank you.